Alright everyone, this is Zero Budget Geek and welcome to another episode of Sentinels of the Multiverse. This time we are taking on the villain Ambuscade or Ambuscade, I don't know how to pronounce it. But he is the superhuman hunter and uh, let's check out his abilities here. Uh, at the start of the game, Ambuscade enters play superhuman hunter side up. Cards are revealed from the top of the villain deck, uh, and he's gonna put a number of devices into play depending on the number of players. And at the end of the villain turn, he will deal the hero target with the highest hit points uh, some damage. So he hunts after uh, whoever has the highest uh, health from uh, from all the heroes. And let's see who we are taking him on with today. So I decided uh, we're gonna, uh, you know, since we're taking on a new villain from uh, mini expansion, we're just gonna go with as many new heroes as we can. So we are going with America's newest legacy, which uses Legacy's regular deck, but she has her own power called Atomic Glare. And we are going with a new character, Expatriate, from the Rook City expansion. Also from the Rook City expansion, we are uh, playing Mr. Fixer. And we also have Unity, which is from the mini, same mini expansion as this villain. And we have the Inhuman Tempest to be our uh, sort of jack of all trades to cover uh, all the things that the other guys can't. And we are fighting in the Silver Gulch, 1883. Basically, the characters have traveled back in time and are fighting in the Old West. So we're actually going to make a little change. We're going to put Mr. Fixer ahead of Expatriate. I'm not sure if it'll matter, but it may. And let's go right at it. So, I have found you, Mr. Prey. Your, your time runs short. Au revoir. We'd fight for what's right. Gotta make Dad proud. All right. So, this guy's pretty straightforward. He's just gonna be pulling out a bunch of, like, devices and guns and bombs to attack us. We'll start the game. Here he comes with a custom hand cannon, an automated turret, a reactive plating. We gotta get rid of that. And another hand cannon. And an unavoidable explosive. So a lot of his explosive cards, they go back into his dead f deck face up. And then when it comes out again, it'll do some damage. So uh, this is going to hit whoever has the highest, uh, whoever has the most cards in play. Uh, we'll have him hit whoever has the highest health. So we'll say we'll hit uh, Expatriate with that because she has the highest health right now. Uh, and right now, uh, again, Expatriate, she has the most health. So... All right, you bum. Let's uh, let's get up in his face and take him out. So, uh, so the newest legacy, she's a little bit more offensive than her dad. Uh, so we wanna do. I think we're just gonna go with a flying smash right off the bat. So we're gonna do the flying smash and hit three targets with that. We'll hit this reactive plating first because we wanna uh, destroy that as soon as possible. And we'll hit this turret here, bring it down. And we'll hit one of these cannons. We want to we wanna knock out as many of his devices uh, as quickly as possible, and then we'll start damaging him. And then she has her ability called Atomic Glare. We're going to use that power now. And we're going to hit the uh, reactive plating because that um, it has the highest health right now. And we want to remove that. <clears throat> Got a little code going on. So actually, let me look. Uh, let me show you real quick what that reactive plating is. Uh, it reduces damage dealt to Ambuscade and itself by one. And then the first time something deals damage to Ambuscade, this card will react and do two energy damage. So that's what we want. We want to get rid of it uh, as soon as possible. So here we have Mr. Fixer. Uh, he's all about putting uh, equipment cards and fighting styles in play. Um, so let's look at what he has here. Uh, hmm. That's kind of neat, but not useful yet. Uh, I think what we want to do is do the dual, we'll put the dual crowbars. So it increases damage that Mr. Fixer deals by one, and he'll be able to hit two targets uh, with that. So we'll put that in play. And we're going to do his base power, which will be augmented by those tools. So we're going to hit the reactive plating. Um, actually, let's do this another way. We're going to hit the automated turret. Uh, for two and, and the reason we do that is because the second hit that the dual crowbars does is actually higher than the first hit so then the second hit will do that on the reactive plating 
because otherwise we would we would have only done one damage to it. And he draws a style card, which actually that's that's pretty good. All right, we have Expatriate, who is quickly becoming one of my uh, favorite characters. She is a lot of fun. Um, we have a quick draw here, which will let us get a gun into play. But we do have this tactical shotgun, which right now is a little bit better. So we'll play the tactical shotgun, and we're gonna use that to blast. Um, we won't be able to remove that reactive plating. on this hmm I don't know if I'll be able to take alright we'll use it on the automated turret and be sure to take it out blam right, and she draws a card and here we have unity so you know I could use this construction pylon but I only have one mechanical golem and it's just it would be a waste to use that to uh, um, uh, just get one golem um and this doesn't really help us um you know what i could no no it's just it's still not worth it so um we're just gonna put up put down this construction pylon and we'll just get uh, you know what let's let's back up a moment let's back up to our player card we're actually just not gonna play any cards with her or use a power we're gonna skip everything and just draw two cards that's a terrible hand she started off with so we're better off just drawing two cards. All right, and then here we have uh, Tempest. So Tempest, we're gonna do the. Yeah, see, this is not gonna be enough to to destroy that reactive plating, um, but we'll still get a lot out of this. So we're gonna do the chain lightning. We'll hit the reactive plating for three. Not enough to take it out, but that's okay. And then we'll hit this one of the hand cannons. And then the other hand cannon will get destroyed. And then he can do his squall ability, but that won't take out the. Um, oh, actually, the squall is not really a good idea right now because uh, that that's fine, you know. Uh, yeah, this is why because. Uh, Oh, you know what? I if I would have if that damage would have hit Ambuscade, then the reactive plating would have hurt Tempest. That's what I was thinking, but the damage was minimized, so it didn't happen. All right, a uh, temporal event. Uh, I went by too fast. We'll read the oh another card. So the theme of the Silver Gulch area, besides being Wild West, there's all these like time portal cards that we gotta manage. Uh, let's see what this guy does. He regains some health, which is fine. He's already at max, but he plays another card. Personal cloaking device. This will turn him invisible. And he damages us. And who's he going to hit? Mr. Fixer. Or we'll have him hit Mr. Fixer, who has more health. Okay, let's backtrack a second here. Let's look at this environment card. Lost in the past. Uh, when this card enters play, discard the top two cards in the environment deck. At the end of the environment turn, if there are no cards in the environment trash, the characters are lost in time. Game over. So this can end a game. At the start of the environment turn, put the top card the environment trash on the bottom of the environment deck. So there are, and the environment has three. So we have basically, uh, do, 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 do. The discard the top, uh, the, uh, so we basically have three turns. Yeah, we, we basically have three turns, and this will make game over for us. I don't think anybody right now... Ha oh, actually, you know what? Somebody does have something. Uh, Expatriate has something, so we're okay right now. Um, all right, we, we're we definitely going to get this Inspiring Presence out. This will give us uh, health to everybody. And we can do some damage here, so we're going to do a damage. Start uh, damaging this uh, personal cloaking device and the reason I'm doing that is because uh, well I'm, I'm in the middle of selecting the reason I'm doing that is because ambuscade is 
the invisible stalker right now so he is immune to damage uh, until we get rid of that thing so let's damage that personal cloaking device blam and draw a card all right now we have mr fixer so mr fixer has this riveting crane card which i'm gonna play uh basically whenever i damage a target uh it, uh the next damage to it is irre irreducible or you know until his next turn actually um right so we're gonna throw that out and then we're gonna do the dual crow well we're gonna do his base power which is augmented by the dual crowbars and we're gonna hit the mm, can we hit the reactive we'll destroy the reactive plating break that and in the second hit we'll do on the personal cloaking device which will be for four damage bringing it way down and that's in range for uh, um, Tempest to take it out okay so with expatriate we have this RPG launcher which is off awesome we can destroy one ongoing or environment card and deal up to two targets to fire damage each so this is gonna uh, solve a lot of problems right now we'll destroy the loss in the past and basically blow up uh, these other two cards that he has now we won't be able to hurt him yet because he is invisible he won't uh, turn back visible until his his turn the villain um, and then so I, I you know what I could use her power which is to play a card so we're gonna use that since I can't shoot him we'll do load and we're gonna play um we'll do the flak jacket for now i want to get uh she has an awesome ability that uh, she has two special guns pride and prejudice she gets them both in play they get really ridiculous really quickly um all right here so we want to kind of get ready all right so we're going to throw down this modular workbench and we're going to use that modular workbench to discard a card we're going to discard this flash forge because we don't want that to be able to put the platform bot and then she draws a card and the platform bot would do damage but he is immune to damage right now so nothing doing there and then tempest goes um, I think we're just gonna have him play his otherworldly resilience reducing damage to himself and we're not gonna use the power because it just won't do damage so all right, and he draws a card. Let's see what the environment uh, brings out to us. So another thing the environment has, and maybe we'll see it here, it's got all, all kinds of like gunmen guys, and here's one of them. Um, all right, look, well, let's see. He so if there's uh there's these cover cards that will come out if there's any in play, they reduce damage to the to those environment guys, and then this guy will shoot. Uh, wow, he'll hit. Uh, he's gonna hit two people for for three damage each. So. Uh, it kind of doesn't matter the order. Alright, so he blew off Expatriate's flag jacket and he did some damage to our little platform bot there, that jerk. Alright, he's back visible again. Alright, time to... Oh, what is he doing? Oh, it's an ongoing card. Increases his... Uh, some of his attacks. I think his energy attacks. Let's go take a look at that card real quick. Uh, increased damage he deals by one whenever device is destroyed ambuscade deals each target to inch damage damn it all right um hmm do we wanna uh we can either upgrade her strength or put a danger sense um danger sense really is n not that useful right now I'd rather let's throw down a surge of strength and just start uh, blasting ambuscade finally yeah we'll hit him for five I could have taken out that Cyrus Hayes but I have something some I think expatriate will probably take him out or actually not even uh, between mr. fixer and Tempest will will we'll take that guy down all right so we can either put this driving mantis which the next time mr fix would take damage we reduce we may redirect that damage to a target of our choice that's actually better than that riveting crane um i want to get this harmony down because uh, uh, while he has a two and a star card he increases damage uh by one that's a nice nice thing i could do it now 
but I really want to get that yeah I want to get this style down the other one's not quite as important so we'll put that it I can only have one style in place so it gets rid of the other one and then we're gonna attack with uh, basically with our dual crowbars and we're gonna hit hmm if I had this guy yeah if I hit ambuscade for three then my second attack will destroy that gunman there boom and now he's gone he's out of our hair we don't have to worry about him all right drew a card charge that's a nice card very simple card but very effective all right expatriate is up and none of this helps us cause what's in our trash nothing that we can oh let's see reload take an ammo card from your trash so we don't have an ammo card yet so we're just gonna do the the quick draw and we're gonna search uh her deck for uh we're gonna take pride yeah we're gonna select that card um do want to put it in uh, it goes in play all right and then we're gonna use the shotgun on mr ambuscade there for five damage blam and she draws some shock rounds that that could be useful all right unity all right her golem there little golem there is hurt um I don't want to put it down one of these construction pots. So we're going to do a brainstorm, which will let me draw two cards and do some lightning damage. That lightning damage is secondary. I, I really want the card draw. And we got a platform bot. And yep, we'll get some little minor damage on Ambuscade there. And we'll stop dealing damage. And then, uh, oh, we could do the, mo uh, do we want to do the, uh, do I want to save this? Not really. We're going to use the, modular workbench to get rid of this card here we don't really want that card and to put another platform bot yay because we're probably going to lose one very shortly and one platform bot blasts him and so does the other unity is just a lot of fun to play when she gets uh her cards going okay uh we have a cleansing down pole which is kind of nice but right now i just want to do some damage to okay yeah i want to play this card so this is a localized hurricane uh tempus will start taking extra damage but that's mitigated by his other card that he has out there uh and this will let me do three damage to two targets and draw two cards draw two cards so yeah we want to do that we're gonna hit ambuscade Plus, that does more damage than his regular squall. And then we're going to stop dealing damage at that point and draw two cards. And I'm hoping to draw... Uh, that ball lightning will get rid of uh, that uh, charged attacks that he has. Alright, so let's see what the environment pulls out on us the worst thing yeah there it is that is the worst card that the environment card can pull out i i, I think it's just that's a bad card all right and he pulls out some reactive plating again and he's gonna damage somebody we'll do it to holy cow um okay because explosive wagon is increasing it localizer oh my god so we're not gonna do that to Oh man, it, it's six damage to whoever. Um, oh man. All right, we'll do the damage this one time to Unity. Though we usually don't like her taking damage, but uh, Tempest might be a little bit more important than her right now. But I don't, I don't think we're gonna lose anybody. Uh, Ambuscade is not that hard. So, I was going to do a four. Here's why, why the explosive wagon is so bad. So, it increases all damage by one, which is good or bad, depending on your point of view. But when this card gets destroyed, uh, it's going to deal each target two fire damage and two projectile damage. So, so, four damage to everything in play, which is increased by one. Um, I don't know if that's a glitch, but basically, it's going to do six damage to everything in play when that explodes. And we don't like that. Um, uh, so we're just gonna try to take advantage of it and just use um so i could do fortitude or danger sense um we'll do fortitude that's that will help us a little bit more and we're gonna use her atomic glare 
to hit this reactive plating we gotta get that oh wow that's a lot of damage all right blam we want that out of the way before we start hitting uh mr ambuscade there and we drew a legacy ring which is awesome all right and i think now is the time to put this harmony oh this is gonna be awesome we're gonna put this harmony so mr fix is gonna be doing a lot of damage now so let's see he's gonna use his strike if we do it on the reactive plating it'll do four damage not enough to take it out so we'll do it to ambuscade all right we'll hit him for four boom oh and he got hit by that but that's so oh and he can redirect the damage yeah so we're gonna redirect it to that uh that thing there which will oh my god <laughs> that takes it out was that the redirection or was that his all right uh and one this guy's doing uh use each uh, all right he's doing it to everybody so nothing we can do about that we'll just choose everybody's gonna take damage boy we're getting all kinds of effects going on now wow ouch that is not fun that's why I hate that explosive wagon it just makes everything worse Damn. Oh boy. Alright, good news is Ambuscade is down to 15. Uh, and we're, we're all of us are actually still above that. Um, we don't want to do that. We, we don't want to play any of these cards. Oh man. Um, I can do an unload. This turn you may use as many powers as you have guns. You know what? We're close to take him and I, I'm going to do that. Why not? We're close to... We're close to taking them out. So we're going to unload. That will let us use both our guns once each, essentially. So use the tactical shotgun first on Ambuscade. Hit him for six. Oh, wow. He's probably not even going to survive the turn. And hit him for this one for four. Here, trigger reflexes. That would have been useful earlier but too late now for that um oh my uh platform bots are gone though i forgot about that um that doesn't help us so we'll just do a brainstorm here wow we're not drawing any of our bots that's okay we're gonna do damage to ambuscade we are not going to hit that wagon. We're going to leave that wagon alone. That's actually helping us right now. And we don't want to use either of these abilities. So we're going to skip our turn. Skip using a power. She draws a card. And Tempest should finish this out here. Um, why not finish it with a ball lightning? How's that sound, guys? We'll do four damage with all the buffs. Let's see how much damage it does. And it'll destroy his ongoing card there. Um, we'll do it to Ambuscade. And it does a whopping six. Bloom. And so, Ambuscade has been defeated. So that is Sentinels of the Multiverse uh, versus Ambuscade. Everyone, thank you for watching this video. I really, really appreciate it. I really look forward to your comments. So if there's things that I could have done better or any any comments, any questions that you have, please put in the in the comment section down below. I really look for them. And so again, I appreciate you watching. And until my next video, see you soon.